Searching a graph involves systematically visiting each and every vertex in the graph. In other words, traversing the graph. There are two ways to do this. Depth first and breadth first. Let's see how these apply to our simple graph. Starting with depth first traversal. Depth first traversal involves following a path from a starting vertex until we reach the last vertex on that path. We then backtrack and follow the next path until we reach the last vertex again. We continue in this way until there are no more paths to explore. In the case of our simple graph, we simply follow a path of vertices until we've exhausted all of the vertices in the graph. It's easier to see how this works with a more complex graph. Starting with vertex A, we follow a path until we can go no further. Now we backtrack, and as we do so, we ask if there are any more paths to explore. Here we can see there's another path, which we will explore until it's exhausted, and then we backtrack again, until such time as we find another path to explore. So how is this done programmatically? Depth-first traversal can be managed by means of a stack data structure. Here's our graph, and here's a stack. As we follow a path of vertices, we push each vertex onto the stack, until such time as the path is exhausted. Backtracking involves popping vertices off the stack one at a time, until such time as we come across a vertex which has adjacent unvisited vertices, in this case vertex C. So then we explore this path, pushing vertices onto the stack as we go. Once that path is exhausted, we again start popping vertices from the stack, until such time as we find one with unvisited adjacent vertices, in this case B we have another path to explore. Once that path is exhausted, again we start popping from the stack. Eventually we'll reach a situation where the stack is empty. Here's an algorithm for depth-first traversal of a graph. As you've seen then, we push the first vertex onto the stack and mark it as visited. Then we repeatedly visit the next vertex adjacent to the one at the top of the stack. We push anything we come across onto the top of the stack, mark it as visited, and we do this until there isn't anything else left to push onto the stack. So then we pop another one off the stack. We keep doing this until such time as the stack is empty. So how does breadth first traversal work? Breadth-first traversal starts at the first vertex and tries to visit all of the vertices as close to this vertex as possible. We're effectively moving through the graph layer by layer, first examining the layers closer to the first vertex and then moving down to the layers furthest away from the starting vertex. Let's see that with our simple graph. We examine everything close to A, and then we examine everything close to B. Let's see that with a more complex graph. You can see, in this case, we're definitely moving down through the layers until such time as we've traversed the entire graph. Breadth-first traversal can be managed using a queue data structure. We visit the first vertex, and then we visit all of the adjacent vertices in queuing each one as we go. Once we've visited all of the unvisited vertices adjacent to the first vertex, we dequeue the first vertex. And then we examine the one at the front of the queue to see if there are any more unvisited adjacent vertices. In this case, B has one. So we visit E and we enqueue it. Now that there are no more unvisited vertices adjacent to B, we dequeue B. And now C is the current vertex. And here we find F and we find G, which again are visited and added to the queue. 
Now that we've exhausted all of the adjacent vertices next to C, we DQC. D is now at the front of the queue, but D has no adjacent unvisited vertices, so we DQD. E is now at the front of the queue, and it has no adjacent unvisited vertices, so we DQE. F is at the front of the queue, and there's a vertex, which we need to enqueue. There's nothing else attached to F, so it can be DQ'd, which means that G is now at the front of the queue, and here we find H. There's nothing else attached to G, so we DQ it. There's nothing else attached to I, so we DQ it. And finally, there's nothing else attached to H, so it too is DQ'd, our queue is empty, and the graph has been traversed. So here's an algorithm for the breadth first traversal of a graph. As you've seen, we enqueue the first vertex, mark it as visited, and then we visit every vertex adjacent to it, marking them as visited and enqueuing them as we go. Once we've visited all the vertices adjacent to the first vertex, we start dequeuing. And as we do so, we visit the next unvisited vertex adjacent to the one at the front of the queue, marking as visited and enqueuing as we go. We repeat this until all of the adjacent vertices are visited, and we continue in this way until such time as the queue is empty.